Hey guys, it's Miss Coconut. OMG, if you are anywhere on social media, you have heard the news that Alex Jones and InfoWars has been taken down. They have been banned. Everyone is shocked. A lot of us are appalled because as creators with content that we want others to view, we felt that YouTube was one of the last places that we could freely express ourselves. Now look, they're violating him on violence and acts against humanity. I don't know y'all, I'm still confused. But what is interesting to me is that at this time, there are several planets in retrograde. We know that Mercury retrograde affects communication, but there are other planets like Mars, which is about war and anger, impatience and yeah and Saturn, which is related to your career and your work. So it's no wonder that he's going through this because guess what else happens when the planets go in retrograde, each planet with its energy affects each sign differently. So a lot of the signs that are going to be affected by the planets that are, that are in retrograde at this time are the fixed signs like Aquarius. And guess who's an Aquarius? You did. Ding, 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 ding. Alex, that's right. You got it. So is it any wonder he's come into fire lately? I mean, like his wife was divorcing him. The children were taken away. He's being sued by the Sandy Hook people for fabricating that story. Now, look, I don't know, y'all. I'm a big conspiracy nut. I think that, that I, what, I'm not going to say. I don't want the men in black knocking on my door. So I'm going to let Alex take that one. But he has given us a lot of good content. And I think it's, you know, horrible that he is being penalized. Can you imagine? He has like millions of subscribers, billions of viewers, and all gone. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But I'm telling you, these planets that are in retrograde are... um evoking a lot of turmoil. I've seen a lot of breakups happen. People are not able to communicate. They are getting upset. Things that probably wouldn't normally bother you are bothering you. There probably have been some loss of of several kind, okay? Whether it's job, whether it's money, you probably are losing your phone, losing your mind. Each planet affects a zodiac zodiac sign and each planet affects a different part of your personality there are inner planets and outer planets and they all show up in your life in different ways so alex you know i hope that you are trying to overturn this decision because this is going to affect all of us smaller youtubers as well y'all so it's not just about him it's about the bigger picture of the collective so, um, I just wanted to go briefly over the meanings of the planets, okay? When um, the ancestors looked up in the sky, there were a few planets that they could see that were visible to a naked eye without the use of a telescope. And they included the sun and the moon. Even though the sun and the moon are not planets, that's another video. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to talk about the classical planets and how they affect our lives. Some people can transmute energy very well. So the planets don't affect them no matter what the planets are doing, whether they are, you know, aligned, retrograding, standing still. Some planets are very quick, so they move through your life quickly, the energy as well. And then some planets sit around in your life for a few years and they affect generations and generational curses or blessings. So the sun, that affects... Um, who it relates to who you are publicly. It's about your reflection, your patterns in life. It's about how you persist in life. It's about how you are mentally established. It's about your ego. So it's no wonder that the sun rules Leo because Leo is about purpose. It's about self. It's about ego. Leo is all about self-reflection, right? That's why Leo, someone asked me what was Leo's superpower. I said the mirror, <laughs> looking in the mirror. 
Next up is the moon. The moon tells us our deepest, intimate, darkest secrets. It's about intuition. It's about how you express yourself creatively. The moon is who you really are. So the sun is you when your face is beat with Mac and your tracks are laid. The moon is who you are when you got that bonnet on and the face cream. That's why when you're doing a compatibility match, you want to know the sign of the sun sign and the moon sign. Um, The moon governs cancer, and that's why cancers are so moody. And But cancers are nurturing, and cancers represent the feminine energy of, yes, the feminine energy. Um, So cancers are normally typically about family and about nurture. Then we have Mercury. We love Mercury, except when it's retrograding. Mercury gives us messages, and it's how we relate to the messages. A Mercury also has the honor of ruling Taurus, I'm sorry, of ruling Gemini and Virgo, which is interesting because Geminis are about communication, but Virgos are about um, information and how it's broken down. So Mercury is about how you receive messages, how you react to the messages with all of your senses. Mercury is the messenger of the gods. And I was telling people it's one of the most intuitive and psychic signs for that reason. The Mercury energy is like Angel Gabriel. Okay. Next up is Venus, which is all about emotions and beauty, luxury. And it's how you react to emotional stimuli. And um, that is why some people, depending on what sign is in Venus, they have a very hard time in love. And Venus rules Taurus and Libra, which are both signs of beauty and luxury and fine things. If you're with the Taurus, make sure you look good, smell good. And if with your, if you are with a Libra, you will never be able to please her. <laughs> Mars is all about your energy. And what you put out and how you direct and how you absorb energy. Uh, Is it any wonder that Mars, which is the war planet, rules Aries? Aries are always so angry and quick to fight. They will fight you at the drop of a hat. They just like to fight. It don't even matter. They fight you in principle. Very hot-tempered. Jupiter is all about opportunity It is about taking risk and seeing positive options. It's about expansion. So I say if you're doing any type of money work, Jupiter is great to work with if you don't have a poverty mindset because it gives you more of what you have. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and that's why a lot of Sagittariuses are great leaders and orators. They probably are trash in their private life, but publicly, they fit the mark. And then we have Saturn. I love Saturn. Saturn is also given to Aquarius, but mostly you hear about it in conjunction with Capricorn. And Saturn is about direction. It's about restriction. It is about how you view life from an attack or a defense mode. Now, what's interesting about Saturn, it has those rings, very icy rings, and it's a planet of discipline. And for Capricorn, that means they have a hard time relating emotionally to the people that matter the most. So while they're great at business and great at climbing that social ladder and providing, they have a wall of ice around their heart. It takes a lot of work to get to them, get, you know, to the heart of them. And then we have Uranus, which is your creative self, your individualistic views. It's how you express freedom. And of course, we all know that is all about Aquarius. We love Aquarius, don't we? They're so fun. They're so quirky and free. But the problem with this planet is that the energy is so 
quirky and unusual and unique it will go to the gutter just to have an experience you can't ever count on where it's gonna be the only thing that saves aquarius is that it is a fixed sign so they usually come to their senses and then next we have pluto which is all about the deeper mysteries it's about sex death rebirth and of course that goes to scorpio (laughs) <laughs> and I think I flipped it I meant to say Neptune which is the subconscious mind and it's about gratitude and dreams it's about the connection spirituality your connection with God and that is of course about Pisces we all know that Pisces are the dreamers of the zodiac so I just want to share that information with you And I would say get a natal chart so that you know where your personal planets lie, okay? And they're going to tell you where they were in the sky at the time of your birth, which constellations and the distance between the planets and how it has affected everything you have done throughout your life. I mean, if you believe that is. So... Stay tuned. I know I will be watching all of this restriction of freedom going down. Very, very interesting news during this big, massive retrograde that we're having. Thanks for listening. And as always, Om Shreem Brezzi.